Now, on yesterday's show, you might have seen it, uh, the ladies were talking about the rise in older dads. And now, supermodel Naomi Campbell has made headlines after announcing that she's become a first-time mum at the age of 50. Her social media post said, A beautiful little blessing has chosen me to be her mother. There is no greater love. Beautiful picture, actually, I thought, Colleen, Gorgeous. didn't you? With a really lovely. Mm. Um, and, you know, despite, you know, it's a lovely thing and she's become a mum, obviously now everybody's talking about, ooh, but she's 50. She's 50 and a new mum. Is that too old? It doesn't often get asked of men, that question, no, I have to not say, me. which is really Never annoying. Asked, really. So what did you think when you heard about it? Um, I don't think she's... If it's right for her and she doesn't feel too old and she thinks she's at a great place in her life to have a baby, then absolutely. Was it too old for me? <laughs> yes. 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 Because um, I love the baby stage. I love all of that. Yeah. Um, but I now... The thoughts of... It's not the baby stage that would freak me out at 50. It's when they get to toddler stage and they're running about and I'm just kind of a bit over that stage. I'm, I'm great with other people's children, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, but I'm also so good at handing them back. <laughs> <laughs> Much better at handing Did them back. Did you prefer back. the ba true baby stage Oh, the baby your stage. Own. You know what I love about it? They can't move. It's fantastic. <laughs> you feed them, you put them down, and even if they cry or whatever, they can't roll, they can't turn, they can't crawl. So I loved that stage. I couldn't get enough of it. And then when they started to... You know, when they eventually crawl and then they start pulling themselves up on furniture, I remember with Jake, cos I was quite excited with Shane cos it was the first time, with Jake... First time he pulled himself up on the couch, I kind of just walked past and just very gently took his legs from under him. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of went, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Not ready. <laughs> just not ready for that That's day. That's cool. <laughs> it wasn't. He, was, he can walk. <laughs> I just waited till he was 18. I think <laughs> well, he, was, he was fine. The only thing for me is, and, and you know, it's not the fact that she's 50. I think, if, like you said, yeah. if she's ready and it's the right yeah. time in her life and... Um, you know, that's fantastic for her and she obviously has a lot of love to give. Mm. She's talked a lot in past interviews that I've been looking at of how she yeah. always said she would love to have yeah. children. Yeah. I had Jack when I was 42, so eight years younger than sh she is now. And mine at all, wasn't at all about that age. I was perfectly happy mm. at 42. At the school gates, I never used to think, oh, gosh, I'm that older mother. Mine is more in the future. I think, will I see Jack do this? Will I still yes. be here? I mean, it sounds a bit morbid, but I do think, you know, will I see those stages in his life? And I'm a little bit jealous of friends of mine who had children younger. They, they're all now grandparents and mm. becoming grandparents. Mm. And I'm a little bit like, oh, I'm going to have to I wait so that long. I would morbid. Honestly, Rose, women are it living longer than ever. Yeah. We're healthier than ever. Doing my ever. running now, Janet. Yeah, I'm you're trying. on the run. Oh, you're, you're keeping fit, <laughs> obviously. You're going to live to be 100. You've got to have that mentality. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, if uh, when I was 50, I mean, that was a tremendous year in my life. I mean, I got married, I got divorced. <laughs> there were a lot of a lot of turmoil <laughs> and from a work point of view I was running a TV I was setting up a TV channel and if I had decided to have a baby I think um, 18 months later or two years later I was running a national newspaper and I just could not have imagined mm. uh, doing that but one thing I've noticed uh, since uh, the pandemic and the events uh, of the last year and a half that loads and loads of couples who would normally yeah. be considering having a baby now what have they done? They bought a dog. <laughs> so they're every, the streets around my house in London are full of people, couples, nurturing these dogs. Mm. They're all their little designer dogs, the cute little French bulldogs, <laughs> and I will bet that that dog is going to replace having a family. Mm. Because Maybe they're, they're already... practising, yeah. Kelly. Maybe they're practising yeah. family yeah. to Maybe come. Maybe they are, yeah, absolutely. I thought it was interesting that she waited... Because, you know, if this is a, you know, however, she hasn't revealed how she's yeah. had the baby, but, you know, however, she's still chosen now to be a mum. And I think that's really interesting because, you know, we've talked about the benefits of doing it in your 20s and 30s, and here she is in her 50s saying, I'm now ready, I want to be a parent, I want to be a mum. And she said that it's, you know, one of the most loving mm. times and the most loving feelings that she's ever experienced. Um, I know that older and wiser, I felt really fortunate to have my children a bit later in life as well, because I, when I was in my 20s, I was all over the place. I was making hideous, awful mistakes, catastrophic mistakes, which if I ha had children at that point, oh my goodness me, I can't even begin to think of the influence mm. I would have had over them at that time. So I think it's lovely that it's, it's now that she feels ready. Well, yeah. also, 
she's somebody who's had a part of her life in the public eye yeah. for a lot Long of the wrong reasons. Yeah. Yeah. And she's been, uh, yeah. you know, to, to use a cliche, she's been on a journey and I can only assume that she feels that finally at peace with herself yeah. and able to and devote her life, mm. uh, the rest of her life, to bringing up yeah. a baby. I mean, I, I, it's said that at the moment she's single, and we don't know that, but she has said in, in past interviews, you know, I do want a father figure, I think that's important, but maybe, I mean, I think she, she broke up with her kind of long-termish partner a year or so ago, and maybe she's just at that stage in her life saying, well, partner or no partner, yeah. This is this is what I want, and I'm able to do it. Maybe she didn't feel confident to do it on her own Absolutely. before. Who knows? But yeah. it's... Oh. And I don't think that's a necessity now, is it? Well, you to know, have to, to have well, obviously yeah. to have the baby. Yeah. Obviously, you need the man. <laughs> but um, you know, I know some fantastic single parents who do cope on their own, and hopefully, if they've got any kind of relationship with a the father, they can still co-parent. But at least it hasn't got that stigma of, you know... Ooh, Do you think I'm society has really changed that much? I mean, if Kira came to you and said she was going to have a baby and there was, no, you know, she, she didn't really care about the father, would that upset you? That's good. a very good question, question, Janet. Yeah. yeah, because I think now women uh, like Naomi Campbell uh, have decided that having a baby is their choice. Do you and know what? It wouldn't upset me. Because what would upset me more is, is if she got pregnant by somebody that... She was staying with because she was pregnant, but she didn't love him or she didn't like him or I didn't think he was good enough for her. I would rather her be a mm. single parent. And as long as she was happy about it, mm. and we are a close-knit family, so she would have help yeah, with it. Report, so, yeah. yeah, it wouldn't be, a, like, a shocking thing or <clears throat> or disappointed in her or, mm. you know... And but, did, Janet, but it's hard. Question to you as well. You said, you know, Naomi's wasted all this time. Did people question you... You know, society is a bit different now. But, but did people question you, like, when you were married, like, are you going to have a baby? Why haven't oh, you got a baby? And do you when want I got children? married the first time, she said, when are you going to have a baby? And I went, look, why don't you just get a dog? <laughs> <laughs> because like, she wanted the grandchild. Yeah. And luckily, mm. my sister provided one. But I was under tremendous pressure. I think women are. My, my sister's it... been asked all her life, why, oh, yeah. why have you never had a baby? Yeah. She never and then, one. Didn't want as them. I went on, and people think there's something slightly wrong with you. Mm. Yeah. You know, that you're, you're yeah. missing some you're missing component. Something. I think yeah. that's why now I've got so many animals, though, because my kids have grown up and I'm having, <laughs> they're like, surrogate <laughs> children. But it's great, because I can put, like, the dogs in a crate at night. <laughs> <laughs> Which, why they haven't invented that for a child, Don't do I that do with your know. grandchildren, will you, when they come along? <laughs> Don't get the two confused. <laughs> um, I have to say, I've just been told that um, Princess Beatrice has just announced that she's oh, pregnant with her first baby. That's nice. Yes, Correct. that's very nice. Congratulations to her and her husband. Yeah, interesting. It is interesting. Different views, isn't it, yeah. of society yeah. as, as we move on. Yeah. Um, and congratulations, Naomi Campbell, becoming a mummy. Mm.